The time has finally come. Konami has done something amazing, something momentous, something so positive, it is shocking. Okay, it's shocking to the system, my boy. I can't tell you how excited I am right now, how elated I am right now. If you haven't noticed, I have a few things here on the bottom right corner, okay? It's showing off the evolution of my channel and also the collaboration with Konami. Your boy has taken the remains of the book that he was writing, Revival of the Duelist. I took so much of this book and left it on the wayside. But I decided, no, I'm not going to do that. I've decided to take this book and expand it to Revival of the Duelist, the Book of the First, and the Book of the Second. These are going to be two books that's going to specialize specifically on going first and specifically going second so that you'll have everything in hand and ready to go. On top of that, the Think Phase podcast has been retooled so that I'm going to be able to give you knowledge. I'm going through each chapter of the book, each subject matter in great detail, and we're going to talk about it. We're going to discuss it. And it's the first thing. It's the first thing of its kind to be even on YouTube. So that's all starting in June. You guys are going to love it. And I even got some more surprises, my boy. So stick around. It's going to be an amazing time for Yu-Gi-Oh! Guess what else we got going on? Konami has made this move, and they have introduced inside of Master Duel this loner deck a loner deck okay the loner deck now see you they did messed up okay they done messed up because they've attacked the yugi boomers directly they knew what they was doing with that loner deck they knew they took that thing look at this you get the cyber dragon loner deck with Attacking waifus, they're attacking you directly. <laughs> then they got the evil twins. <laughs> Let me talk to them. Oh my god! And then they even got this. No, <laughs> I love it. Konami knew exactly what they was doing. And this is why I say I'm so happy about the situation. And this is the perfect time to duel because, and actually the perfect time for all these, all this information that I'm dropping because this is exactly what I think is needed for Master Duel. This is exactly what's needed. But the problem is one silly thing. Why limit it? Why put a limit on this? It's limited until the end of June? All right. So listen, since this is limited to the end of June and I got so much other stuff planned and on the way, you're going to still get all my planned and on the way stuff, but I'm going to be working with these decks and showing you guys the ins and outs of these. And then, of course, my favorite is the Cyber Dragon deck. So I'm going to be working with this deck and show people how to take this deck from starter deck to the master level so we're gonna be getting in here with the cyber dragon deck and also you know i just had to talk about that just opening up and then we got to get in there and, and then they did another thing that was also amazing they went through the trouble of going through the solo mode they got the new solo mode tactical tri deck solo mode with the three starter decks ready to play but what i thought was so cool about it is that how it's set up i thought this was amazing so basically when you're starting this out like if okay let me let me back up a bit let me back up a bit i'm very excited about this um oh i actually yeah i am going to get a chance to take a look at the deck before we play all right so if we go into here and we take a look at the loner deck when I look at this loner deck, I don't know what you see, but when I see this, I see a strong go second OTK deck. This is like playing just like my gladiator beast. You know, we got a couple hand traps, you know, to help us out. But mainly this deck is about hitting them with the OTK, knocking them out in one turn. They even got red reboot in here. If you can't read the writing on the wall, I don't know, you know, I don't know what else you can read. It's, it's, it's built to help you OTK, right? 
But then as we go from here, what is so cool about it is that as we go into the first practice duel, it literally sets up the OTK. Like you, you start this off and you have to play this to get going. But it starts you off going second and it gives you the line. Konami, thank you for finally doing it. Yeah, you did it. What makes Cyber Dragon unique? Now, this is something that's, that I'm going to also point out that I think is really cool. I was doing this on my mobile phone and half paying attention. I didn't read any of this because, you know, you know, ironically, Yu-Gi-Oh! players don't like to read cards. They do read books, my boy. I have the data. They read the books. But listen, ironically, they don't read cards or tutorials on video games. And I, neither do I. So I saw that instantly closed and was like, I know what I'm doing. I can figure out whatever it is you're going to do. And I thought it was like a free game. But then I was like, hold up. You know, you draw and it was all directed. And it's telling you like how to get the, the combo off. So basically it's telling you like this. In, now, instead of playing like you would normally do in like a lot of decks, which is lead with your normal summon, in Cyber Dragon, we lead with the special summon, which is Cyber Dragon. And then if we don't lead with Cyber Dragon, there's other cards in the Cyber Dragon deck that you can use their names to do all that stuff. But that's like a complicated thing that comes later. They're indoctrinating you into the Cyber Dragon deck by teaching you how to OTK. I love it. I absolutely love it. So you start with Cyber Dragon. You put him on the field. And then it says normal summon the core. I'm like, okay, let's hit that normal. And then core is going to add realm. Add realm to hand. Now realm is dope. I read all the cards before going in. But when I saw core add realm, I'm like, oh, yeah, we're cooking here. So look. You're going to use Realm's Effect to go get Chimera. Now, you would never do this. Ne Listen, this is only for, for true duelists right now. Listen, don't, don't do this in real life. Like, don't play this card in this column. It'll be impermed. Don't do it. But yeah, we're following this combo line, and it's not infirm, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and add Cyber Dark Chimera. You got to point that out, man. We don't want us, our boys taking L's. Now, look. It's going to let us use this to go ahead and normal summon this card. I, I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. They're hand holding you through an OTK. They're showing you if you've never OTK anybody with a combo line before, this is amazing. This is amazing. So, you know, again, we discard the card. We're going to add the power bond. And then now we've got the OTK. It's, it showed us how to go with Cyber Dragon and Core and how these two cards can make an OTK. Now, what's up to you is to figure out that this is the challenge after this is done. You wanna make sure, oh yeah, I forgot to hit the link. The challenge after this is done is to make sure like, like what, like what combo are you gonna hit like after this? Like what, like how are you gonna find out a way to make this combo even shorter? How are you gonna make it even more broken? Like, that's the question that you should be asking. But we haven't finished yet. So now we put all these cards set up in the grave. Or we got our field set up. We can pop the power bond. This gets disgusting. So then we bring out Rampage Dragon. Now, you know, because Cyber Dragon is a fan favorite card, um, you know, it's, and it also showed right there that you could use, you could have, like, used this as a target, but you definitely shouldn't. So I like that, too. But, um... I don't know, like, I didn't know a lot about Cyber Dragon, but seeing it, like, like how powerful Rampage Dragon is, I got, like, super encouraged. I didn't know this card, like, pops the cards on the field. I didn't know, I didn't know anything about this card, to be very fair with you. This is my first experience with it, and I see that we destroyed the two cards. You see that one of the cards was a, a battle trap, which could have messed you up. So you go ahead and use Rampage Dragon's effect, and then you're going to banish two cards. And then basically it gives it two more attacks. So now you can go to battle. Now it lets you walk into battle. You've got your power to Rampage Dragon. But this card has a quick effect in battle to give a monster a boost. So put Rampage Dragon to 63. And now you got 63 swinging two times for game. 
I really like that. I really, really like that. It, it, it's amazing because I had to let it do that sound. But what I really like about this whole combo is that basically it showed you that as long as you can get to that power bond, you can pull this off with, you know, the rampage and the link monster. So you got to keep that in mind as we go ahead. But I absolutely love that. All right, and then obviously you get here, and then now you have the loner deck. So now we're gonna play with the loner deck for the first time. Now I've oh, and it's letting us go second. So let's see if I can pass the test. Can I execute the OTK for the first time? Let's see. Ooh. All right, this is actually a pretty funny opening hand. It's pretty dope. All right, foolish burial. Monster reborn. Well, maximum C. 94% of people play this card. <laughs> Has a pretty strong win rate. All right, Dado. Ash. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice pull. Utopia. Woo! All right, let's draw. Raigeki. Okay. Huh. So unfortunately, let me see. This card says you can target one Therian or Machine Monster in the graveyard and special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, uh, equip it with that card. Okay. I think I got something we can do. So let's do this. Let's send over our Kaiju. Hello. Lightning stole. I'll be destroying all the spells and traps. Right, Gekke. I'll be destroying all the monsters. Then I'll be special summoning Therian King Regulus. Woo, we cooking boys. We know how to play this deck, my boys. We know how to, we know how to play this deck. You know what I'm saying? So sales ban, this is declare a card name for the rest of the turn your opponent can't activate it. There's nothing that they can activate. I don't think so. And we got Ash in hand, like come on. Come on. If you're brand new to this deck, this is spice. This is absolute spice. You know what I forgot? I forgot that to go back to this, I got super excited. I for totally forgot to switch the camera. I fucking did. <laughs> All right. So that was pretty spicy. I think we can just go ahead and end our turn on that. That was pretty good. So like it just showed you how you can crack the board, how you can get in there and get your gameplay going. And no response because obviously he spent his entire hand to set that up. All right, so let's see. Now see, this is one thing I don't like about the deck per se. You know, this about Cyber Dragons. This might be a Cyber Dragon problem. Like the way the starter deck's built, like look at all these bricks. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? You could de it definitely needs to be tuned up a little bit, but for sure, this is a solid, like, this is solid gameplay. I enjoy this. <laughs> now, what's going to be interesting is that, um, <coughs> excuse me, is that pretty much we need to get into some Cyber Dragon gameplay action. That old. Mm, Cyber Dragon gameplay action. Let me make sure this is the one we need. Special summon. Da -da -da. Card in the graveyard. You can add a Cyber Dragon card from your deck to the hand. Do we got a link one? Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. Shokun. Link a one. Tri Brigade All Mirage. Actually, I guess it's Cyber Dragon All Mirage, too. I didn't know that. I didn't know that that's how we play, uh, that, you know, that's how we got to get down. But, you know, that's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Oh, wait, actually, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Ally machine from your deck in hand. Uh, target a ally machine in the graveyard. Shuffle it into the deck. Yeah. Deck to the hand. All right. And I think we can grab, so we already normal. Oh, we might be able to do this one, right? Yeah, it's in a special summon the galaxy. Yeah, I think that's probably what we're gonna have to do. 
The Skyrim card switch summon this card from the hand. I'm assuming you target a machine with 21 and it's still summon. Uh, from graveyard. Ooh, it, this way. in the cyber wagon. Mr. Wagon. All right. And then let me see. Yeah, so this is probably our best play, the Chimera Tech uh, Mega Fleet. So it says Cyber Dragon and an extra deck. So we're going to hit this. And Al Mirage, and then we're gonna summon the Mega Fleet. Yes. All right. So do 21, 24. All right. Now we weren't exactly able to OTK, but at least we were able to get in there. All right, my boys, thanks for watching this video. We're gonna be getting in there with this deck a little bit later on, and I'm gonna be showing you guys some more advanced gameplay by making some modifications to it. I really think this is great, and I think it's an awesome idea that Konami had by implementing this um, trial run deck thing. So let's try out some other decks. Long ago, when the duelist was still young. Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, the cybernetic rebellion is now at hand. New mechanized monsters have been released to transform the meta for all time. Long have we waited. The ultimate monster Cyber Dragon has now been made available. And it's with a heavy heart and a light wallet that I must report. If you want to play, you must pay. And bring forth the ultimate sacrifice. Your credit card. With the ultimate price comes the ultimate power. The mechanized king. The triple headed beast. Cyber and dragon. Attack. Super strident blade. 